Welcome back to another episode of our Daisy build. Daisy is our 1989 60 series Land Cruiser that we're spending six months fixing up before we take her around Australia. Today's job is the door cards, which are plastic and fabric panels on the inside of your doors. Ours aren't in too bad, Nick, but they definitely need a bit of work. Before we can restore the door cards, we need to actually get them out of the car. All right, so here's how you take a door card off on an FJ62. Start with the handle, there's two screws in there. Now there's a whole bunch of clips behind the door card that I'll use my handy clip removal tool to get, and then it just lifts up and out. Apart from our love of 60s and remote Aussie travel, the support from you guys is really what's been keeping us going. So please don't forget to subscribe so that we can keep making more of these videos. 160 series door card. So we'll probably cut new cardboardy stuff but use the same outer edges and the same steel, same fittings. And the fabric? Yeah, so keep that. Because this one's in really good nick. It'll just, it'll clean up nicely. Because these vinyl, carpet, fabric covers for the door cards, they need cleaning. They're covered in red dirt. So it's gonna be a lot easier to do that while they're still on the card. We wanna do it while they're on the old card because we don't wanna water damage the new card. So we're gonna do that now before we actually peel this vinyl off. I'll hold the card up and you can spray it, okay? <laughs> Promise not to spray me. gonna get just with the hose but I'll grab a sponge or something and try scrubbing it down a bit as well especially on this fabric bit. Washing those door cards with just the hose and some soapy water it really made a difference. They already look so much cleaner but they're not quite there yet. There's a bit of red dirt and who knows what else deep in this fabric because this card did live in the Pilbara for a lot of its life and that's just how things get up there. Next step is to try something a bit stronger. Oh, these edges are filthy. It's actually come up really, really well. It's so much cleaner than it was before. While that one dries, I'm gonna start on the vinyl. And this one you don't wanna let dry, you wanna wipe it off as you're going. So I've just got a damp um, piece of trucks here as well. I was trying to clean up the dirt from around one of these little cracks on the door cards when I accidentally dropped it and made a much bigger crack. So I was pretty sad about it and hid the door cards away for a while not wanting to look at them. But it's time to get them back out now and get back to work. So I'm going to clean up the other three, get them looking nice and schmick, and then decide what I want to do with this fourth one. After breaking a bit more vinyl, I've had a bit of a think, and I think what I'm going to do is keep these bottom three levels of the door card. So fabric, vinyl, carpet, and replace this top one with new vinyl because this is the really brittle one that keeps cracking. And when I do that, I'll maybe put some foam underneath as well so it's a bit nicer to lean your arm on. I think for now, the priority is just to get these covers off the door cards um, without damaging those bottom three layers and damaging the top one as little as possible. So I can remake those door card templates and then start building the rest of the cover onto the door card as opposed to as one big sheet that just goes over it. I think this time we can actually glue it down and build it using the door card as our sort of base. So there's also a strip of metal up here, which is stapled on, absolutely ridiculous. Um, and the staples are quite difficult to get out, but I'm gonna just put some elbow grease into it and get those out and then find a different way to reattach it because I don't have something capable of stapling through metal. So that's the, the little metal strip. All right, before I damage this door card anymore, let's trace it onto the masonite. So I've got a new piece of masonite and I've just lined up my old piece of door card so that two of the edges are along the edges. It's not a perfect rectangle, so I'll just, where it starts curving, I'll just trace along the edges. Oh, just my luck, pencil broke. There's actually a piece missing up in that top corner, but rather than guess, I'm just going to leave it for now 
and then hopefully it's intact on the other piece and I can flip it over and use that as kind of a new template for this symmetrical piece. It's not actually totally intact on this other piece either, but at least I can see that it ends on a straight line rather than a curve. So I can probably just connect these two lines to make it work. Now that the basic shape of it is outlined, I also need to outline all these holes that need to be cut. So for this particular door card, there are two holes that are like broken and gonna be difficult to chase, trace. Um, one of them is just one of these little clip slide in holes. So that'll be easy because I've done the shape a million times and it doesn't have to be perfect. But the other one is this big, what I assume is meant to be a rectangle. I think it's where the handle for the door goes in. So it should be roughly the same shape on all of them. It's just not in the same position and everything. So I'm gonna line up one of the other ones and just trace that onto, if I draw the bottom of it in first, then I should be able to line one of the other door cards holes up with this one and draw the top of it on so I get the right size. Time to cut them. My dad's been doing woodwork for quite a few years, so I enlisted his help with this one. For most of the process, we just used various drill bits, but for the weird shaped holes and the edge of the door cards, we had to use a jigsaw. The whole cutting process for four door cards took a bit over two hours. You really don't want to rush this one because then they just might not fit properly with the covers or onto the doors. Pretty close. Now that the door cards are cut out, I've just got to file them down a little bit so that the rough edges don't rub on the carpet because we want them to last as long as possible. This file is actually my great grandfather's file. Now that we've filed that down so there are no sharp edges, we're just going to get some spray, spray paint and give it a coat over. Um, any paint will do as long as it's oil based. You won't be able to see it. So I've just got some disgusting hunter green spray that I found in my shed. Never going to use it for anything else. So I might as well use it for this. Now that my painted backing is dry, I'm going to very carefully peel this top strip of vinyl off of the cover because we're going to be remaking that one so we won't be gluing it onto the board. And once I've done that, I'm going to make sure to get all of this gross thin foam off of the back. I bought new foam, but I'm not going to put it over the whole door card again. I'm just going to put it on my new top layer of vinyl because you don't really rest your arm on any of this. There's no reason for it to be padded. This is Quick Grip Spray. I've also got the Quick Grip, just the paint on one. Either will work, whatever you prefer to do. I'm gonna try the spray. Right, I think that's mostly dry, so I'm gonna stick them together. The only hole that's not lining up is the speaker one, so I think I've cut it slightly wrong because if everything else lines up that's got to be a problem with the car card itself not the lining up right yeah i think maybe it's just been cut very slightly smaller than this one which is why you can still see it so i might just have to file that down rather than i don't think this will ever perfectly fit without showing it and while that dries i'm going to start working on remaking this top bit of vinyl so there was some really, really thin, probably like one mil foam under there. I'm just gonna replace that with this six mil foam that I got, which will make it a bit, a bit squishier when you rest your arm on it anyway. While that dries a bit, I'll finish sticking down the other side of this door card. There's a fair bit of waiting around with this adhesive because it sticks best if both surfaces are already dry to touch before you press them together. For the spray, this takes about five minutes and for the paint on stuff, it takes about 20. The paint on stuff is stronger though. Let's do it the opposite way this time because I think it'll be easier to trace also, this vinyl is just from Spotlight. I think the worst part of this whole making of the door cards is going to Spotlight. Just a bit more than two centimeters. The gap at the bottom is where the vinyl goes past the edge of the metal and onto the actual door card. This line should be perfectly straight and nice because this one will be very visible. That's why I'm taking my time with it. The top piece of vinyl overlaps the fabric a little bit, meaning this edge is what creates the visual line between the two. Once that's all nice and stuck down, We'll stick it to the big one. Yeah, I think we're going to need the paint on stuff. A smaller paintbrush would be nice, but I don't have one right now, so got to work with what you've got. Alright, that should be dry enough now. So we'll just stick them together. Yeah, it feels dry. Just make sure we line it up 
properly. We're going to do it the other way, won't we? That was how we were going to do it so that we could see where we were lining it up because I've drawn that little line there. All right, big reveal. Finished door card. So that is what our finished product looks like. I am really, really happy with that. The vinyl, the new vinyl up the top is a little bit blacker than our old vinyl, but I think we should be able to polish it up and get it looking with a bit more scrubbing, get that looking the same as the top one. So yeah, job well done, I think. Now all that's left is to pop the pieces back in and pop these on Daisy. Unfortunately for us, Daisy's still a little while off being done, but fortunately for you guys, that means we've got a lot more Daisy videos on the way. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, and just stay tuned. Check in every second Saturday. Mm -hmm.